All right, guys, today we're doing something just a little bit different. We're actually starting out here in the office, and I finally decided it's time to step up my game when it comes to building trucks and stuff like that. Uh, one thing you guys may not know about me is when I went to school, I actually uh, minored in mechanical engineering, and one of my absolute favorite things to do in the engineering programs was do drafting and designing. But that's a skill I've never actually applied to the real world, building trucks and stuff like that. So I finally decided we're gonna step things up a notch. Um, as you know, we're probably um, halfway through the middle of a front end rebuild on our four wheel drive drag truck, and I'm designing some suspension brackets. And I started out you know, with cardboard and stuff like that, but um, I said, you know what, 2023 is the year where we step things up, we do some CNC stuff. Um, there's a place called Cut Send, no, send, cut, send. Um, and if you submit a technical drawing, then they'll laser cut stuff and they'll ship it to you in the mail, uh, which is super awesome. But the only problem was you need to send them a certain type of file. So um, I looked around a little bit. I found a program called SketchUp and I'm basically turning stuff like this, little scribbles on a piece of cardboard into a real world technical drawings with dimensions and stuff that a CNC laser cutter can use. So um, I have the shock tower brackets almost modeled all the way. I'm working on just a few other things for the project. Like we got a plug to fill in a hole on one side of the frame. We have some shock tabs for the lower control arms because I'm redoing that. Um, this is another little, little uh, reinforcement plate for the control arm. Uh, like I made this, this goes around the upper control arm mount and it you know gives that little slotted hole for the camber adjustment. That's going to be part of my upper shock tower bracket. So um, I spent like literally all day yesterday learning SketchUp and so far uh, is completely different from the programs that we used in school like over a decade ago. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun, it's a learning curve and I like the challenge of learning something new. So yeah, 2023 is the year of laser cutting and CNC and stepping up our game. So today we're a little bit all over the place. Um, I did change the oil in the Duramax and I also needed to run to the parts store because the misfire in the Mustang has returned, which I kind of suspected it might actually. So the next thing that we're gonna try, uh, last time we did plugs and cleaned the master meter, but um, I was leaning towards coils. I still don't wanna spend the money on a full set of coils. So I'm gonna try the old plug boot slash wire connector set. Um, that little box right down there is like 30 bucks. So I figured like, what the heck, $30. You can hardly buy lunch these days for 30 bucks. So uh, we'll slap those on there at some point and see if that will take care of the misfire. Um, it was good for like about a week of driving around, then it kind of slowly just started to come back. And it's not as bad as it was before yet, but it's it's gonna get there. So uh, yeah, we'll get that taken care of, we'll get the oil changed, then we'll uh, get back to drafting some parts. Need to grab some more of these PPE filters. Didn't have enough time this go around, but next time, thinking about even putting one of the big extended ones on. So you'd like check it out. This is a uh, Mobile One Premium filter, and it's only about mm, I don't know two thirds the size of the PPE one. Alright guys, we've been blasted with snow for the last couple of days. 
my favorite thing, dirt and salt and nastiness underneath the truck. So we are at the car wash once again. Let's take care of it. Once again, we get the AT4 cleaned up. It's my favorite thing in the world, is to see no sand and dirt and salt. I got most of it underneath there. Spent like 45 minutes just cleaning the underside. Good to say, cleans up pretty nice. All right, so the first thing that I've been doing here is just trying to get all the dimensions that basically uh, characterize the outside of this shape. So once I get the shape drawn on here, then I can you know make the radiuses and draw the holes and all that good stuff. But the, uh, the outside, that's the first part. I think I've got just about everything. And of course, because this is symmetrical, I'm basically gonna draw everything you know, from the center line out. So all these dimensions, or all the widths anyway, have to be divided by two. So it's the widest point tallest point See, I confused myself. I tried drawing this a couple times already, and I put way too many reference lines on all at once, and that just kind of made things difficult. So, I'm going to try this one at a time. Looks like we got about a three quarter inch radius on all these corners here, so let's see how that looks. All right, so I got the shape pretty much roughed out. And to be honest, the way I'm gonna weld this thing together, um, the shape isn't super critical, but the pattern of the holes is. Um, now, I measured them as good as I could with calipers and stuff from the actual ball joint. Um, but I made these a 3 8 hole in the model instead of a half inch hole, just in case they're not exactly perfect. I can still kind of get this thing mocked up and bolted together, then I'll just run a half inch drill bit through them. Um, just to kind of nail it down because I've got these pretty dang close 
Uh, just the whole spacing, I'm not sure if it's exactly where it needs to be. But... And there you go. That's our part. We'll export this. We'll send it to Send, Cut, Send. And uh, another week or so, or I don't know how long it actually takes, but a little while of that actual part in the mail. Um, I kind of sat down and I thought about it. It took me about two days or so um, from start to finish to design all these pieces that I'm about to show you. Um, two days includes downloading the software for the first time, learning it, trying to figure out the ins and outs and how to use it in the you know, most efficient way to design something. But two days to transform these couple of pieces of cardboard with some scribbles and some notes on them into actual computer drawings. Um, and then once we have the drawings made, basically our job is done. All we got to do is send the DXF file off to the laser cutter. I'm going to use uh, send, cut, send. I've never used them before. Uh, so I'm really curious to see how it turns out and how quick the turnaround time is. But uh, two days, day and a half, two days or so to make these six drawings, which is a total of 17 pieces. And um, we get some lower shock mounts, we get some doubler plates, we've got a lower ball joint reinforcement, we have a simple uh, filler plate for the hole in the side of the frame over there, and then we've got the most important one, the shock tower, um, and the reinforcement plate on the back, which is going to have, <laughs> I put my initials in it, I don't know if we'll leave that, I might take it out before I uh, place the order, but anyway, 17 pieces. Now, given the tools that I have here at my little home shop, it would take me, honestly, way more than two days to build these parts because all I use right now is a you know, four and a half inch angle grinder with a cutoff disc. I've got a die grinder. I don't even have a drill press. I don't have a plasma cutter. And even if I tried to make those pieces you know, with the extra time it would take, they wouldn't be as consistent as they would be or will be once we get them back from the laser cutter. So I'm really excited to try this process out to learn some new skills or rather to hone some skills I had at one point. Um, and the possibilities are endless. Like I'm looking at this chassis and there's a million different things that I wanna have laser cut. It's kinda gonna be my new addiction, I think. Um, like you guys have asked about reinforcement plates along the frame. Um, so what I'd like to do is, you know, model something that is a similar shape to that factory piece there with like an oval and kind of a triangly hole. Um, and we can make a plate that goes along there. You know, same thing between that and the back. Um, I want to redo the cross member mounts on the frame side there, um, specifically on this side, because it'll let me run or, or I'll allow myself some more clearance to run some bigger exhaust because I know I have a fender exit now, but I'm probably going back to full exhaust, um, maybe even five inch. So just little stuff like that. And the motor mount, of course, you know, I got to redo the motor mount to lower the engine. Um, I'm already thinking about ways I can model that and have it laser cut. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a new addiction. I love nerding out on stuff like this. Um, some of my, my goals or my inspiration come from a guy on Instagram called 3D Magic Mike. Now, um, if you're on Instagram, you should go check him out because he works for the Roadster shop, I believe. And he has this little Datsun, I think it's like a 720 pickup with a 1UZ Toyota V8 in it. And he's got some really, really trick stuff on there, like, you know, push rod suspension with a cantilever. Um, everything is modeled in 3D space. He does carbon fiber work, some of it CNC machine. Like, uh, just go through some of his pictures because that is... That's like the level that I want to be able to get to someday. I'm not there yet. You know, I'm just, I'm barely scratching the surface here, drawing in 2D and getting some parts laser cut, but it's just the beginning. So yeah, that's where my year is kind of kicking off to. Next time we are going to kick, um, kick off. Next time we're going to start on the rear suspension. I have a few parts here already. Um, still never messed around with Mustang yet. Still got to figure out that misfire. We got a lot to do. Um, we got the motor mounts. We got this side of the suspension. But you know, once we get all those parts back from the laser cutter, that's gonna you know go real quick. We got the control arms to redo. So April is going to come quick. That's all I know. April is my goal to get this truck kind of done. You know, new motor, new suspension, new chassis, new frame, roll cage, new EFI. Uh, yeah, it's a tall order, but one day at a time. Thank you guys for watching. Come back soon.